Hello everyone and welcome to a round one match at the Worcester Sheriff events. Uh, cards legal at Worcester were up to nightmare at noon. Uh, so none of the new factions available yet to any of the players. So uh, we've got two Morgan player, uh, players here. We've got Steven on the left. He's playing the original home uh, and Amit on the right. He's playing the Gadgetorium home. Both players, though, looking to be playing gadget decks. Uh, Steven's got Harold, Carl, and Irving, and two mad scientists there. And Carl, very much likely to be uh, an inventor. And Amit, he's got William Specks, Carl Wagner, Jarrett Blake, and Irving. So, uh, again, a very uh, standard set of uh, dudes. J Jarrett Blake, probably the only interesting or slightly unusual uh, dude. You don't see him too often. Uh, uh, but he, I mean, he's a, a reasonable two star one influence dude, so you can go and contest some deeds. And uh, if um, Mechanical Horse being played here, he, he could have a dude and he could swap into to, to save um, dudes. Probably actually more interesting with the original home in that you could uh, swap him into uh, posses of people being called out from using the home ability. But uh, Lula's exploit there for Amit, that's going to give him some good money. Uh, Howard is going to go fetch a Quaterman from uh, Steven's discard pile. Should actually discard a card there. Um, it, you do have to discard a card to go and fetch one. You don't get an extra card in your hand. Uh, Scoop Hound, that's going to Jarrett. So that's going to um, prevent, I think, the, the Wendy and other, and other pistol whip things. Uh, Quaterman being invented by Kyle. Uh, not hugely unexpected, although. Uh, slightly dangerous here, no deeds out for Steven yet, and he's now got three upkeep already. The two upkeep on Harold is uh, quite expensive for for a starting dude, I think. Um, especially if you, you, you don't see many deeds, but he does look like he's got uh, Yanlis there. Uh, he can use Irving to uh, invent that. So yes, that's what's going to happen. Uh, Irving is going to say invent. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the correct terminology for a deed appearing and your dude going there. Um, uh, it's you know, an old uh, sort of mechanic to try and say what has happened in a, in a story uh, story words, but uh, looked like a war, a war paint there in Stephen's hand, so um, not quite sure how he's going to get people wanted or whether he's got any methods, but uh, perhaps uh, I think if you're going for the low values, perhaps a coach whip instead to, to prevent those cheating, but uh, looks like also a pistol up there in a, a dead dog tavern, uh, which may have actually been, uh, in this instance, probably not. Um, we've only got one Quaterman at the moment. Uh, uh, Quaterman, but Quaterman can contest though at dead dog tavern, um, with being it based on bullets rather than on influence, uh, and that is sort of really the problem with Quatermans. Um, you're limited into in as to sort of contesting deeds, you actually you, you, you need the Quatermans to fight, but then you also need other dudes to go and contest those deeds. Um, and per perhaps that's where uh, Kazam has a slight advantage with the Gadgetorium, in that he can unboot one of his mad scientists. Uh, when you're starting two, I mean, very rarely are you going to see three gadgets in a hand that you want to invent, uh, and perhaps until very late in the game, at which point you probably feel safe in moving those dudes um, to opponents' deeds and inventing things there. So... Uh, Amit is going to play Baird's Build and Loan, uh, so that's going to get him some extra income. It's also going to help him with building other deeds. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very easy for Morgan, even with the Gadgetorium, to get lots of deeds out. You've got William Specks who can play those out of towns or those uh, ranches and get, for the reduced cost. Uh, and, then you, and then if you play something like Baird's Build and Loan, you can get more dudes out the deeds out cheaper that way so it's very easy to, to quickly expand your board uh, and if you're playing with perhaps not in this case Quatermans I think Amit's running a very high uh, value deck so he doesn't he doesn't want to pollute his uh, his structure with those threes that could fail gadget pools um, f failing a gadget pool is probably the the harshest of the the failure cases uh, so Harold he's getting a telepathy helmet uh, from the discard pile uh, again Stephen forgetting to discard a card but probably not making a huge difference uh, I suspect he would have got what a war paint in the, in the first turn and possibly uh, one of the deeds I'm not sure but 
not a, uh, a huge error by any means. It's pretty things to be. Snappy helmet being invented by Kyle. Um, yes, that's going to succeed. I think perhaps is uh, one of the the underused gadgets, or I mean, I think it's if you, if you if you're running threes, then you're you're perfectly fine. You're gonna you're gonna pull those fives uh, with your mad scientist twos. Okay, yes, your other mad scientists can't invent them, but there's not a huge number of uh, things. As I say, you, you've, he's got two mad scientists two there with Harold and Carl. So it's very rarely he's gonna have three things he wants to invent in a turn. Uh, Specs invented the bar charge neutralizer. Um, so step your helmet, uh, very easy to invent, and it just gives you, a, I think, a very powerful piece of information in knowing what your opponent's hand for one Ghost Rock. Here, probably going to be lose, used less so. Uh, he's not got a huge event of income at the moment, just two. If he loses low ball, he makes one. He then pays one for the step of the helmet, so he's got uh, effectively no income a turn, which is. Uh, makes it difficult, although Irving is, is there with the, the home ability to probably get out deeds as long as he has sort of something to start with and perhaps forgo uh, inventing uh, something or uh, using the ability one turn. But it just knowing what's in your opponent's hand, you, A, you don't get surprised by those cheating resolutions and you, and you can freely cheat, but you also don't get surprised by those other shooter actions like selling your eyes, which less harmful for, um, uh, for Quatermans. Uh, they're they're not going to get so in your eyes, but uh, perhaps like pistol whips to send home your mad scientists or your, your influence or uh, point blanks to, to ace someone if you're playing a stud deck. It just it's useful to know what you're what you can expect uh, on a given turn. Uh, Irving invented in the uh, R&D branch, and I think that's uh, the best usage of uh, the home abilities to vent those out of town deeds. Uh, very difficult for anyone to come over and contest them uh, and and call you out uh, with, with the Anne Lees uh, thing there. Perhaps would have liked to have seen Jarrett perhaps move across and, and threaten. There would have been just the Quatermen to go against. That's two stud against one stud, one draw, which eh, difficult to say. I mean, uh, Stephen has been winning all the low-ball hands so far, so he's probably running a very tight structure where we've not seen much of, um, with Amets. Uh, the winning low boy is, is a good indication that he's got maybe perhaps a, a slightly weaker structure. Um, perhaps didn't fancy that, but just, just puts a bit of pressure. And I mean, if he does get called out, he can go and booted by the Quaterman. And it, it just forces that Quaterman out of position. He, then, if he wants to move to Town Square, he's got to go in um, in booted. Uh, and whereas Jarrett, he can boot home. Well, I suppose then Jarrett boots home, then the, the Quaterman also boots home. Um, but. Uh, yeah, perhaps just a, especially as well with the, the high upkeep, the already at three upkeep uh, over on uh, on Steven. So if he loses Yan Lee, so he doesn't control it, he's not making any money per turn. Especially with the losing of low ball, he's actually going to lose one a turn. Um, so Quaterman going to Town Square. Um, there, uh, yes, not a not a huge amount going on at the moment. Uh, Besborn Loan's going to build a Pat's Perch. So more income for Amets, and that, that is perhaps the only problem with the this deck. Uh, see at the moment is it's just that th the lack of threatening control points at the moment. Stephen only has two dudes who can contest any deeds, and so because of that, it's uh, Amet, Amet has three dudes who can go and contest deeds of influence, uh, and so he's, he's much more likely to keep hold of those and not only really they can force the game the pace of the game along a bit in that it's. Stephen's got to worry about contesting those and perhaps getting out of position, but also uh, he's just going to get a, a lot more money, which uh, he is doing, but it, it, I think it's better to have money and control points rather than money and no control points. Especially as well with Irving booting a lot to, to use and leads, Harold booting to invent things. It, it just forces perhaps a bit of a change in play, clogging up the hand uh, for Stephen and not be able to freely play those uh, those gadgets so easily. And, and, and then he's... He's limited in what he can do. Uh, Pearl Hannah tries to go into Irving there, but uh, no, that's not actually possible. Uh, he's both in the town square and booted, so both those reasons are going to prevent it. Uh, an ancient coil gun went on to Kyle, uh, using the Gadgetorium's ability. I think that's... And these are the instances where you want to use the ability on the Gadgetorium. Difficulty 6. Looks like he's running very high values. 8, 9, 10 queens. So uh, with Mad Scientist 2, he needs pull of 
two or higher normally eight or higher with with the gatatorium so he's, he's always going to succeed that and especially it's a it's a free event um with with the money and the unboots which and and so because of that in, you, you're cycling you, you get a card out of your hand for the next turn um thing so another quasman over for steven uh so he's up to four upkeep already and he's making five so Again, though, he's, he's still relatively safe, and this is why I think if you are running the uh, sort of Equatorman type deck, the original home is is much better than the Gadgetorian one because the original home, if if you are forced to perhaps play some get some Quatermans to get them out of your hand, I mean, in, in fairness as well, you don't even need to keep the Quatermans. You could just play a Quatermans to to cycle it from your hand. It's one Ghost Rock, not a huge burden on you, and if it cycles it out, uh, you can use it that turn, start a fight. Okay, maybe he gets Ace, maybe he doesn't. Um, but then you can not pay the upkeep and, and cycle the card and then you've got an extra card that maybe was going to get a deed that actually allows you to get more money and then you can feel more confident in your next Quatermin is going to stay around longer or maybe some other dude who's got some upkeep so Jarrett to the town square um, yeah the ancient core gun on him as well is actually going to be very useful he can pretty much wipe out any of the uh, of uh, Stephen's dudes apart from Harold uh, so he's probably wants to focus on Irving first but no he's going over to Ann Lees I think that's a, a good call here it's Especially now with four upkeep for Steven, he loses money per turn unless he can successfully pull that R&D ranch. I don't think he's running clubless. Now I can see uh, we've seen the war paint and we've seen the the pistol whip in his hand, so very unlikely I think to be running clubless if if you're running those two clubs, uh, and especially war paint. I think you you very quickly give up war paint if you were uh, if you wanted to do many of the experimental type things. That uh, so we're using the R&D ranch uh, to gain two uh, two money. Uh, and he, uh, I think, pulls a club. Uh, he didn't quite move it into the camera there, so we can't see that. But he's got rid of the R&D ranch, so um, presumably he did pull a club, or he just decided he wants it. He could be a joker, and he, he made a club to get rid of it. Um, not a, not in any need at the moment. Uh, Yan Lee can be used uh, by Amit. He's going to give an influence to. Uh, Kyle, but I think for the time being it's not really matter. No uh, movable influence for Steven. Four go short though. I mean, he could uh, play another du uh, dude here to get the influence. Uh, they can move. It. I mean, n neither player at the moment is anywhere near threatened to losing. Uh, currently, Amit's on two control points. The uh, Steven's five influence. Steven's on no control points. to Amit's five influence, but four really. So both players. Several uh, control points away, and unless we see some uh, some two control point deeds, it's very unlikely the game's going to end too soon. And I think that is a, a, one of the, the core problems of the the gadget type decks uh, thing is, is getting a sufficient number of control points or limiting your opponent in their influence in order to to win the game outright and not be reliant on winning the tiebreakers. I mean, so. Quatermen, they can't run a kidnapping job or to lead a kidnapping job. They have to get someone else to boot. And the gadget deck, where are you going to find those bullets? Uh, I mean, perhaps Kyle, but you don't want to lose your mad scientists in your gadget deck because they're you, you need them in order to keep inventing things. And if you lose your mad scientists, you can't invent things. Your hand gets clogged up with a load of gadgets, uh, and there's not a lot you can do. Uh, so Amit, I think, is uh, wins that on a pair of tens, so he's going to win lower again. Um, and then, uh, and there's not really any other way. Um, with, with, I mean, there's election day slaughter, which yes, good, but you you can't choose who gets ace. So if I mean, if your your opponent is running a lot of dudes, you're just going to choose that that naught, maybe one influence at best, who's going to die, and just going to continue and and not really worry. Uh, so it's very difficult to force uh, f force the game state forward to get to a point where you've got a lot of um, points. So, but here we go. Yeah, two control points. So the pharmacy coming out for Amit. So he's up to four control points now. Uh, Steven's still on five influence though, so he's not um, uh, immediate threat, but uh, it's starting to get more of an issue. He, and and really now playing deeds is going to be more of an issue because he only has that two movable influence. He basically has to go and he has to get control of his deeds back by fighting. And the problem is as soon as he moves to one of his deeds to fight, 
He then has to boot to the other one. He can't call somebody out. Or he's going to have to use someone else to call someone. He's going to have to use one of his unbooted dudes. He's probably going to have to be Kyle. And then they have to join the fight. And so there's a risk that they can die if, you, if things go horribly badly. So um, he's, he's sort of in a, in a catch-22. I think he needs Yan Lee's tailoring back. Because at the moment, he's losing at least one a turn. Uh, well, sorry, he's losing either naught a turn or two ghosts a turn. And there's an alternative play. He can... He can Going to put it at the pharmacy, but I think I would have preferred him to get uh, Yannis back. But it's it's difficult because the ancient core going on Jarrett, he can uh, kill any of um, uh, Stevens' dudes. And uh, although the only the only thing you don't know is 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 Amit running clubless. I don't think he is. I've seen uh, seen some clubs go through in the low ball, but he could be running very club light, uh, and so he could still he may risk it. Uh, difficult. So Irving now getting a Pearl Honey revolver. Now he's moved to the pharmacy. Uh, Yan Lee's putting the influence on Irving, and I, I can see the that yet yeah, because uh, ha Harold has three influence. So that now gives Irving the same amount as Harold, uh, and so the one anywhere. But I, and actually, no, I'm, I'm not. I think too key on that because he, he only needs two influence to contest. Oh no, sorry, no, he's got three influence, so he can contest uh, if Harold comes over to the pharmacy. He can contest that with just Irving, and um, I doubt a uh, thing, but I, I would imagine here we could see an Irving call out an Irving. Uh, both Equatorians move in, probably leave Carl in the town square. He's not doing. Yeah, so I think that's Irving calling out Irving. Um, I imagine here it's either go home booted or uh, let uh, Specs join, but I, th I think. I think I think you well so Amit does accept but I think here is a case of probably just go home booted uh pharmacy's not giving you a huge amount of income uh n not a threat of dying only Harold can come and contest Yan Lee but you I think we'll just call him out so yep yeah, uh no so only Kyle and Irving uh, are going to be in the fight for Stephen and um Specs is joining with Irving um so Irving gets Ghost Rock. Uh, I think should get on Amit's side as well, but he's. I don't know. Yep, there we go. Uh, but he's rolling in cash. Uh, and it looks like he's just. Got, I think got a lot of clubs at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. He can't quite. He needs to force a fight, and that's perhaps why he's having this fight here. He, he needs to get rid of some of those clubs in order to uh, not get his hand clogged and actually be able to use some of that money, which might seem some more deeds. So uh, pistol whip there in Stephen's hand. I imagine this is going to get used and to send home uh, William. Yep, so there's Pistol Whip, uh, and that is going to send home uh, William. So that's uh, disappointing for Amit. So it's basically just five cars now, so it's going to be difficult to keep Irving alive. Uh, and, and I think that's why Stephen didn't send the Quatermans in, uh, send the Quatermans in. Uh, I'm surprised actually, though, that he. Didn't go for uh, to copy the helmet in first to see what Amit's got in his hand. I know, see there he's got a cheating varmint. So uh, I think it's a not what you it's not what you know as well. Oh, that's the uh, Joker there for Stevens. That's looking pretty good. It looks well. Only two, three of a kind at the moment, but uh, he's got one redraw with Kyle so I imagine one either the seven or the four um oh actually no, maybe, maybe no, sorry he's got, he's got a straight at the moment so I think he gets rid of this well you get do you get rid of the six this is, the, uh, this, this is one of the tough calls I mean because here you can get rid of the seven or the four uh, which kills your straight um although presumably I think we'll get rid of the seven he's uh we've, we've seen some three so if he draws a three uh, he can even save the Joker with um, the, the, the problem is if he gets rid of the four and draws a three, then uh, I don't know. I think he'd still be fine, yeah. So, uh, but but you, you could save the Joker in that instance. So I think you you get rid of the seven here. I think he gets rid of the four. Difficult to know what his draw structure is, but uh, looks like he's just drawn another seven. So, oh no, sorry, he's drawn a Joker. Uh, so that is at least uh, four of a kind because I think he's on the got a pair of sixes. Uh, Amit is on just five cards, so maybe he doesn't want to waste both the Jokers here. I mean, 
Um, uh, we've seen Amit lose low ball. He's not drawn great hands. Uh, so I, I don't know whether he's got any cheating punishments. It's uh, difficult to know. But I mean, you'd have to lose by three hand ranks to be really disappointed by it, wouldn't you? Because two, two or less, and you would lose Kyle. A draw, you'd happily take. He loses Irving, you lose Kyle. Uh, so, uh, but then is the game going to go on that much longer that you're going to see the Jokers again? Maybe, maybe not. It looks like he's got a fair few cards there. So, uh, so yeah, he does use both and gets a uh, straight. Well, I thought he had a pair of sixes, so uh, he didn't go for the four of a four of a kind. But uh, cheating three of a kind for Amit. So yes, uh, I think uh, Coach Whip. Uh, so that's going to definitely get rid of Irving. I think I would have saved that. Uh, no need, no need to play the cheating resolution unless uh, Amet comes out with something. I mean, we know he's got a cheating environment and he's got a lot of cash, but at the moment, um, hand ranks. I think it's, I think it's only one, isn't it, at the moment? So I think, yeah, you, you wait for him to spend the money and use a, uh, a cheating. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So you, 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 you force him to use those. Uh, those cards. He either pays five Ghost Rock with Cheating Varmint. Uh, well, I think he had to pay five with the Cheating Varmint because uh, it's not what you know would get them a tie, and a tie isn't good enough. So, um, I think so. It's now down to two influence for Amit uh, and two control points for Steven uh, against two control points for Amit and five influence for Steven. So, one more control point is going to get Steven here into uh, a, a winning position. Uh, looks like he's got a deed in his hand. Uh, and the only movable influence at the moment for Amit is Jarrett. So, uh, and that would, you'd have to give up. Um, things. So, Harold is going to play Dead Dog Tavern. Uh, which actually is, uh, is okay. He can... Uh, I suppose the problem is, is Jarrett at the moment has all the, the bullets. Yeah, so Harold off to uh, Dead or Tavern. So I think here the only option for Amet is he needs to boot, um, needs to boot Jarrett back to the pharmacy, move Carl over, and call out Irving. Because the problem, the problem is Jarrett moving across the Dead Dog Tavern. Yes, okay, he controls it, but it's still three control points, three control points. He needs to get the pharmacy control back. Irving isn't going to move. Kyle isn't going to move, so it's just the Quatermans. They can't contest the, the pharmacy. They can't contest bear bills and loans. So, uh, and so, and so, yeah. So he he has to take back control of the pharmacy, uh, and I think he's uh, pondering that at the moment. Uh, I mean, and okay, the Quat the Quatermans will join, but there's not really a lot else he can do, is there? You can. He's used the influence. He's used the young needs to get influence, uh, and perhaps this is where he should have given it to. Kyle. This perhaps a reason he should have given it to Kyle. Uh, it's easy to say in, in hindsight because uh, his Irving died, but his Irving would have been good as as, as three influence for going contesting Dead Dog Tavern. But in this case, well, if if Harold came over to the pharmacy, he could have contested it. But uh, I think so. Kyle moving to the town square, and here I think. Surely Quatesman calls him out, I think. Uh, if he, Carl is currently the only person who can call anyone out. Uh, and so, even if he does... And so, you, you happily take Quatesman versus Carl. Two stub versus one draw. Go for it. Mate, uh, Blake, Blake, uh, Jarrett Blake joins. He's in a not very good position. So, Carl going over to Dead Dogs Tavern. And I think that's going to cost him the game is it he gets rid of three influence puts him on two no yes it's, it's it's still three control points to uh, Amit's two uh, so Quaterman going to defend uh, that doesn't actually boot uh, the Quaterman um, he, he doesn't need to boot for that one it's from the town square to a deed uh, so that's going to be not booted uh, and yeah, yeah. I, th I 
I think that may be a costly mistake. I'm 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 trying I'm trying to go through and sort of see what anything Amit can do. I mean, he can call out uh, things. The advantage with pharmacy as well is that the pharmacy could allow him to unboot his dude. So Jarrett goes back to the pharmacy to booted. Uh, Carl moves over, unbooted. He calls out Irving. They have a fight. Obviously, he has to win that fight. But I mean, you're, you're in a you're in a check situation anyway. You have you have to <coughs> uh, thing. And uh, I think at the moment, actually, sorry, the the control points are a little off. It should be a two two to three because Dead Dog's Tavern is based on bullets. Uh, and currently, the four of uh, Jarrett is running that. Uh, I perhaps can still change that. So. Uh, uh, no one will be too uh, unsure, but uh, I think so. Uh, yes, another another Quaterman goes in, doesn't actually boot him. I don't think they they call out because the, so uh, Carl is calling out Harold. He has to accept he's booted. Um, I mean, uh, but yes, yeah, so, so, so back back to the situation on the pharmacy. It's it's. J J Jarrett moves over booted. Carl comes across. Ah, uh, you, you, I don't. Yeah, you, you'd, you'd probably then presumably immediately use the pharmacy on Irving. Uh, so it would leave Jarrett booted at the pharmacy, but then you move Carl over. Carl calls out Irving, or Irving goes and booted. So you, you sort of you'd expect that. So. Um, you, you'd uh, you, you probably move him before, and if you moved it then across to there to be alone, then I think you're, you're on two, three, three. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, th I think so. I, I, I don't think this is a position that Stephen could. As soon as he killed Irving, I don't think it was a position he could have lost from. Uh, so so you, uh, we're having a fight. I'm, I, I should probably say that, but I, I think this is a, a bit in, inconsequential to uh, how things are going to happen because it's it's it's, it's always going to be three control points at this point now to to Stephen. There's no way he can contest both the Anleys and the pharmacy, uh, and and yeah, unfortunately that the 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 pistol whip of William cost him, and that, I think that's why pistol whip is such a good card in in that it. Not only gets rid of a strong shooter from a shootout, I mean, gets rid of a three stud uh, when facing respects. And I think perhaps with three stud, he perhaps could, could have even won that fight. Uh, but also, in a case like this where specs has influence, it's stopped him moving that influence. If he, if, if Amit could move William Specs, he could go and take Yan Lee's. Uh, and if if he does win this fight, it's three control points to two influence on either side, and it's most bullets easy on Amit. Uh, and, and so he, he wins this game, but it's just a. Uh, Really, that pistol whip play has has done him wonders. So uh, we're having a shootout. I think it's it's three stud to four stud and one draw. Uh, I think yeah. so. Flush for Stephen uh, against cheating five of a kind for Amit. Uh, and I think that's this is this is where you want to have saved that coach whip when you save the coach whip coach whip Jarrett. Um, so uh, hand ranks at the moment, it's flush to five of a kind, so it's going to be four down, so that's uh, two ace. Now he's going to use cheating varmints, so it's going to be six, so they're all going to die. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it would have uh, would have mattered, he, st he still would have had it, it's not what you know in his hand, and the five hand ranks are enough, two, two ace in a discard is, is fine. Um, the thing is, he didn't want to leave Harold around, um, and, that, and that's actually a, a good play there to play the... the um, the cheating environment because if he's only down by four hand ranks, he loses both equatements. Harold goes home booted, and and he, his influence stays. So, um, so it's a good play there, but it's, uh, unfortunately let down uh, by. Think because, yeah, because it's it's still three to two, three to two, and it, it's still a loss. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll just go back to the farm situation. Is is there any case? So, both both dudes booted. Uh, it's it's Amit's turn. He boots Jared home. He boots Jared to the pharmacy. Uh, pharmacy unboots to unboot Irving. So, Carl moves across. 
Irving calls... I can't remember across. Irving boots to bear build and loan. Uh, so that's still then that's two control points on either side. So no, yeah, so yeah, then he and he then still plays Dead Dogs Tavern to get the the extra. Well, Car Car will then go to Dead Dogs. No, it's only one and one. So yeah, I, I think it was, it was really it was that losing that pharmacy fight that has has, has cost him the game. It's I think I think the be the better play would have been to go after. Um, the pharmacy. Uh, I, I think actually no. Yes or no? So you uh, no because you still can't get to Irving to call him out. Um, uh, even if he because uh, Irving could um, Carl sorry could pick up the the ancient coil gun. He can then find uh, Irving and just call him or or fight him. Risk it three draw versus not not uh, not bullets, but. It's uh, yeah. I think it was, it was that losing that Irving and having Irving having the the influence because if Carl has influence, it's he moves over to Yan Lee's game uh, and or at least force a fight between the two Carls, uh, one draw, one draw, and you know maybe that's pot luck, whatever works. But um, yeah, I, I just unless he's got a dude in his hand, which I don't think Amit does. He, Got clogged up, I think, with too many clubs, and he's he's not able to do anything. Um, he's just he's, he's having a look, and I think there's just there's nothing nothing available it's, it, because Carl Carl's the only movable influence, or any, sorry, any movable dude, and he doesn't have any influence, so he can't contest any of the other deeds. Jarrett is the only dude who can contest uh, contest any deed, and and the pharmacy are the ones he needs to contest. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, but uh, yeah, that's game. Yeah, and I, th I think um, that's, that's unfortunate, really. It's a, it's a tough way to go. Uh, yeah, I think Amit's just thinking he should have gone to the pharmacy, but I don't think it would have mattered. I think it's uh, th having Stephen controlling it. He would have been um, thing. Although, although he, he uh, it's always difficult. So, um, thanks for joining me. Uh, that's round one for Worcester. Round two uh, coming up shortly. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks so much.